What's up guys, today I want to do a video for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and just answer some questions. So we've been running One UI 4.1 Android 12 for about a month now, maybe a little over a month. And I had a lot of questions, a lot of people there, uh, I guess kind of scared to update to it um, because they probably heard some things. But in general, the update has been good, not only for me, but for most of the community, uh, at least on this channel. Um, so yeah, why that is very important is because this is the last major OS update for this phone. Um, so it won't get Android 13, it will only get security patches. Um, so I actually think I got a security patch, so it's, it'll get three years of security patches. And I get that question a lot, is the phone going to be safe to use since it's not? Uh, yes, for the next three years, this phone is going to be perfectly uh, safe to use. It's going to still get security and hopefully... Uh, stability improvements and stuff like that if you know whatever happens so as you can see every time you get an update and it's always important to update your phone you can see device stability improvements bug fixes new or enhanced features and you just sort of go and look at what they actually did here uh, for the most part this is probably just security patches itself all right so the phone itself very fast with this update I had no speed problems at all um, it just feels exactly how the first day, you know, I got it. It's still a very speedy phone. So if you haven't seen any of the Note 10 Plus videos, I've had, I have a few or actually a lot of uh, uh, comparisons with this phone. And, uh, this is, I consider it to be one of my favorite phones that I like to recommend to people because I think it's aged the best. And I think the price is actually pretty great. Now, what is the reason why I say it's aged the best? Um, really you can just check out that. Galaxy Note 10 Plus versus S22 Ultra video uh, that I did, it pretty much sums it up. This still has aged extremely well for about 350 bucks compared to that new, you know, S22 Ultra that is like $1,200, right? So this is just an awesome pickup. One of the awesome things about this phone, I think Samsung should bring this design back. Maybe, maybe they never brought it back because it's kind of a little too flashy, but um, every time I take this phone anywhere, I think it, it always gets people's attention, especially um, when it hits the light. Um, so I kind of don't like putting cases on this phone just because of that. It's just a really beautiful uh, design here. So it's a full glass and metal design. It's got this really cool color shifting uh, effect on it here. Uh, it is a more boxy phone, which I'm not a fan of the boxy phones. Like Typically, I like the more curved because it does fit in the palms a little bit more but most people they put a case on their phone anyway so it's not a big deal um, but this still feels very premium uh, as far as materials and it just feels awesome uh, you also have the stylus uh, as far as I'm concerned the stylus is still top-notch uh, it's still very fast even compared to the new one but if, if you are like really into digital artwork this is still great um, to use for drawing for navigating it's just awesome um, so display it's a 6.8 inch display it's 1440p and it has a pretty high uh, PPI as well too so everything looks really sharp uh, on this phone as well too it's got almost 500 PPI on here and it's a beautiful display to look at the only thing I you could say that has aged about this display could you could say that it only has 60 Hertz why I don't think that's an issue and I think that's only an issue for tech people is is because the latest iPhone 13s right those phones only have 60 Hertz displays so it's not like it's a 60 Hertz 120 Hertz and the 90 Hertz I think it's really for tech enthusiasts I think your average normal person it's not something that you have to have so um, yeah so that's just how I feel about that but um, yes, the display is still gorgeous if you get past it only being 60 hertz. It's still beautiful edge to edge screen on here, punch hole. Uh, it still looks very modern uh, to me. So I do want to talk about the enhanced features here as far as One UI 4.1. I've made a ton of videos about uh, going over the One UI 4.0 and the 4.1 so you guys can type that in the search box and check it. Uh, but as far as feature wise, this phone still has all of the same features that the newer phones have as far as your Samsung desktop support, uh, reverse wireless charging, secure folders, uh, built in screen recording, basically everything, all the customizations 
that One UI offers as well too. It's all here with the One UI 4.1. Nothing is stripped back. Like I said, if you want to see that more in detail, uh, just go ahead and check out uh, those videos. Uh, the RAM Plus is on here as well too. Uh, so you can get even more RAM with this phone and all of the advanced features. I think one of my favorite ones still is in labs and the multi window for all apps. Uh, it's just a really awesome feature as well too. And the full screen and split view as well too is also a pretty cool uh, feature to have. Um, but like I said, check out that, those videos um, so you can see all of the you know latest additions with that One UI 4 and 4.1 uh, update. But as far as software, you're still not missing anything. All right, so I do want to go ahead and talk about the gaming performance on this phone. I actually really like this phone for a gamer with the Snapdragon 855 and the Adreno uh, 640 on here. It does a pretty good job with gaming. In addition to, um, you know, gaming, it does have micro SD card support, which a lot of newer flagships do not have. So this phone having SD card support is really awesome in my opinion because you can just load it up with a ton of games, a ton of photos, videos, and stuff like that. You can get a 512 you know gigabyte card and you'll be set to you know set uh, also what's really awesome about this phone is the base storage so I think your average person really won't be able to fill up 256 gigs because the base storage on this phone is 256 12 gigs of RAM that's why I really like this phone because I think that's incredible uh, for the price of this phone to be able to get 256 12 gigs of RAM and SD card support is really awesome the only thing that this phone is missing is a headphone jack um, but if you really want like an older Samsung flagship with a headphone jack, I highly recommend going with the Galaxy S10 Plus. Basically the same phone without the stylus, you know, some slight differences. Um, but that has a headphone jack as well. The stereo speakers on this phone is pretty good as well too. It's also one of my favorite things. And I'll go ahead and show you guys. I think somebody asked about Intutu scores here. So here are the Intutu scores for the Note 10 Plus as well too. You guys can go ahead and compare those. Um, but yeah, the speakers on here, the vibration motor is also uh, pretty good on this phone as well too. You guys can hear that. And I actually prefer the speakers on the Note 10 Plus compared to the S22 Ultra. Pretty crisp and clear here. With Dolby Atmos, I, I prefer to have it on. But the top speaker puts in so much work and I really like it. So as far as the camera, so the cameras on here are pretty good. And the question I got was, did the update help with the cameras? As far as image quality, no, I did not see like a big difference in terms of image quality. Now, Samsung did add a ton of features well not a ton but they did add some features as far as the gallery application and stuff like that overall I think the camera application just feels faster to me um, yeah but as far as like the actual images no um, but the images themselves still look pretty good here so it's a triple or technically a quad camera setup 12 megapixel standard 12 megapixel telephoto 2x optical zoom and then a 16 megapixel ultra wide it does 0.3 uh, it's a 0.3 depth, depth sensor you also have 4K 60 on the front and back, and then a 10 megapixel selfie. I thought the shots came out really clean on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Like I said, and I'm gonna keep you know saying this, if you check out that comparison with the S22 Ultra or even with a ton of other phones that I did, I think this is still very competitive camera when it comes to detail, dynamic range, the zoom shots, the ultra wide shots, the selfies, all still look really good. The only area where this phone lacks is I could see um, in lower light situations, it's not as strong as the newer phones like S22 Ultra, Note 20 Ultra, and also this phone does not have like the fancy zooms and stuff like that. But if you don't care about any of that stuff and you're just a point and click, you know, type of person as far as cameras, this is still a really great camera. About just some of the additional features here as far as the under the display fingerprint sensor, it's not really that much, it's not faster at all but it was never slow. So you can see it's one of those tap. It's very fast. You also have face unlock on here as well. And um, yeah, so that is always really good. And as far as battery life, that's a big concern here. So battery life did not change at all. 
Um, it's a 4,300 milliamp battery with 45 watt charging, which I think is really good. And then you also have 15 watt charging and reverse wireless charging at 4.5 uh, watts. Basically, I did the battery drain test and I'm just, just watching the percentage from Android, you know, 11 to Android 12. It still drains the same. You can still get well over six hours of screen on time. So uh, battery life is fine. So if you haven't updated or, you know, you were waiting or asking questions, it's a great update. The way I did it was just straight, you know, I straight updated it from the phone and then I did a a little reset kind of like a, a soft reset um and that's pretty much it i don't put a lot of stuff on my phone um so i don't experience like a lot of lag and stuff like that because i know a lot of you guys like to do customization as far as like good luck and you guys have a lot of stuff running in the background which you can do on this phone um i and i i have uh customized a ton of my phones and have a ton of widgets and stuff uh, from time to time but Usually I keep my phones really clean and performance is always pretty pretty nice on here. So you can go ahead and customize and do all that stuff you want to. Um, it's not going to be an issue. Um, so speed wise, fine. Everything is really fine on here. So I think this is a great buy. It's a great buy for the next three years. Um, so I would definitely go ahead and pick it up. Um, so yeah, be sure to let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys in the next one.